everyone, you're watching Crypto TV, India's first 24-7 streaming crypto channel. I'm Vanita Chatterjee, leading you into the world of digital currencies. And here are the headlines. Coinbase to hire over 1,000 people in India Hub amid regulatory clarity. Indian gaming firm MPL in talks with FTX. Doge rallies 9% as Elon Musk buys 9.2% stake in Twitter. Cryptocurrencies mixed amid global uncertainty. Bitcoin near $46,000. Binance NFT to drop Mike Tyson's NFT collection. Waves USDN stablecoin drops 15% amidst manipulation. DBS not opening crypto services to retail market in near future. Reddit integrates Ethereum NFTs on its global platform. Coinbase INC, a US-listed crypto trading platform, said it has invested $150 million in homegrown Indian technology companies in the crypto and Web3 and plans to hire over 1,000 people in the country hub this year. Coinbase's plans of India expansion have come close on the heels of India implementing tax regulations for crypto assets. Brian Armstrong, co-founder and CEO of Coinbase, announced via blog that the company will be hosting a crypto community event in Bengaluru to discuss the future of crypto and Web3 in India on April 7th. Armstrong is on a visit to India and plans to meet students from top universities, crypto founders, Indian entrepreneurs and crypto evangelists during this week. Coinbase's Indian Tech Hub was launched last year and has over 300 full-time employees across regions. Cryptocurrency exchange FTX is reportedly in talks to invest in Indian gaming firm Mobile Premier League or MPL. MPL is looking to push into Web3 gaming and is in talks with several investors including FTX. Earlier this year, FTX has created a gaming unit to boost crypto adoption in gaming. The Indian gaming firm, which has received investments from Sequoia Capital India and RTP Global, has several mobile video game titles ranging from sports, card games to fantasy games. The firm has earmarked Rs 2,000 crores for its popular fantasy cricket league, in which players can win up to 1 crores. Elon Musk, Tesla CEO and SpaceX founder, has taken 9.2% stake in Twitter INC. According to an SEC filing, Musk has purchased over 73 million shares of common stock with TWTR trading at $39.31 at Friday's close. This brings the total purchase to more than $2.8 billion. The Tesla CEO's purchase of a stake in Twitter comes as a social media platform is exploring the possibilities of decentralization. Dogecoin, one of Musk's favorite cryptocurrencies, has benefited from the news of Musk's newfound Twitter stake. Dogecoin surged by almost 9% in the last 24 hours and is currently trading at $0.15. Cryptocurrencies traded mixed with Bitcoin trading near $46,000 amid uncertain political and macroeconomic outlook. The tech-savvy Nasdaq and the S&P 500 futures traded higher as investors looked past the U.S. Federal Reserve's anticipated rate hikes. Russian troops were seen building up significant accumulation on eastern Ukraine in an apparent preparation for an offensive push. Bitcoin traded near $46,000 amid expectation of demand. Analysis of price data over the last 10 years reveals a 51% average gain for Bitcoin in April. There have only been two negative Aprils since Bitcoin began trading. Ether, the second largest crypto by market capitalization, was trading around $3,400, little changed in similar time frame. Memecoin, Doge was trading over 5% higher. Doge alternative, SHIB, was up over 1%. Mike Tyson, the boxing legend, has partnered with the Binance NFT marketplace to launch a mystery box NFT collection. Mike Tyson will release the collection of 15,000 NFTs to a global audience through Binance NFT. Those who participate in the sale can buy a mystery box NFT valued at 44 BUSD. The NFT buyers will also unlock the ownership of Mike Tyson merchandise that has been physically signed by the boxing legend. 
The merchandise available includes gloves, shorts, t-shirts and training gear. The NFT sale will be open from April 5th, 2022 at 11 a.m. and close on April 5th at 11 p.m. After the primary sale is conducted, the secondary market will be opened. Neutrino Dollar or USDN, an algorithmic stablecoin of the Waves ecosystem, lost its US dollar peg as Waves, the token backing the dollar pegged cryptocurrency, saw a double digit price slide. USDN, which maintains a 1 is to 1 ratio with the greenback, fell more than 15% to $0.83. The USDN peg started to wobble on March 31st and crashed almost 20% as of today, wiping $200 million in the process, a pseudonymous market expert and anchor, user Duo9, tweeted. Waves is an inflationary cryptocurrency offered as a reward for mining blocks on the decentralized open source blockchain Waves. The native token slipped 18% to $42.45 in the recent trades. Users must lock in Waves in Neutrino smart contracts in order to mint USDN. While USDN redemptions hurt the stablecoins as investors try to unlock Waves supply. Waves token surged over 200% in March to record near nearly $1 billion market cap. The Waves team last week was accused of manipulating the price of its native token through decentralized finance lending platform Wires.Finance. DBS, Southeast Asia's largest bank, said it will not extend crypto trading services to retail customers in the near future in what appears to be a U-turn of its stance on the asset class. DBS chief executive Piyush Gupta had said in February that it plans to extend crypto trading services to retail clients by the end of 2022. Interacting with shareholders at an annual general meeting, Gupta said that the most regulators are rightfully concerned about allowing crypto as an asset class in the retail market. Gupta, however, acknowledged the growing popularity of cryptos as an asset class, saying, Left to ourselves, I think over time, digital currencies and crypto assets are going to be pervasive. And, therefore, sooner or later, I think the world will have to come to terms with this as an asset class, not to replace money, but certainly as a store of value. I think it will have a role to play. Reddit, one of the biggest social networks in the world, has incorporated Ethereum-based NFTs within its platform. According to reports, four Crypto Snooze NFTs were sold for as much as $400,000 each to use as an avatar within the Reddit platform. Presently, customizing the avatars won't be available to Reddit users even for the four auction NFTs. Instead of doing that, MetaMask helps users conduct their NFT art assessments with their given choice of NFT or JPEG. However, market experts also pointed that there are risks to making the address of Ethereum users visible to the public. It is a privacy concern as the value and nature of the transactions of the individual can be easily tracked on public domains. Platforms like OpenSea eliminate the problem as they only display the individual's blockchain address through the parameters of username and account. Well, that's all for the bulletin of this hour. Keep watching Crypto TV, India's first 24-7 streaming crypto channel. I'm Vinita Chatterjee, signing off.